This is a Spirited Talk mini podcast with your host, Trevor. Today's guest is Darren Britton, who is talking about his new book. Hello and welcome to this shortened feature episode. I have with me today in our virtual studio a man that already recorded a story with us and a special episode. Darren, it's good to be speaking to you again today on Spirited Talk. So you're back with us today to talk about this exciting new book that's just come out. Tell us what the title is. Thank you, Trevor. So the title is From Innocence to Innocence, The Journey to Mediumship. And what made you want to write a book? So I really wanted to, um, because over the years I've read many books like many, many people have, and I really wanted to have really a book that combines some of the autobiographical elements of a medium's life and journey, but also to also have this part of it that was really condensing the aspects of the experience of mediumship that can help the student of mediumship to really expand their awareness more fully. Excellent. Who are you aiming this book at? Is it advanced? Everyone. Okay, yeah, so everyone. everyone. Yeah, so I would find something from it. What's the basic premise of the content? It is looking at mediumship and psychic development. Yeah. How long did this book take you to write? Oh, about seven years, I think, on and off. Ah. You know, it's one of those things I, I, I would write when I felt moved to write. Um, so it wasn't, it's quite a reflective process to write and then revisit certain things that I've written. So about seven years, I think. Ah, right, because I was speaking to uh, an, an, a friend of mine, Mickey Havelock, who, who wrote her own book and released it recently. And when I asked her uh, about the process of writing, she said, well, I wrote it on pen and paper. And I said, why? Mm. She said, well, you know me, I'm not tech savvy. I couldn't do that. Did you use digital memes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. No, honestly, my handwriting is not that clear. <laughs> And what is your belief that this book will achieve? I really hope it will help people identify within their own mediumship, first of all, a uniqueness. Whilst there are certain elements and principles that are common to everybody in their mediumistic unfoldment, but I hope that because of that, they will identify a uniqueness in their expression of mediumship. I recall you talking to us in our main uh, interviews about these eight conditions that you believe are vital. Are they in the book? They are actually, yes. They are vital. They are in the book. And they really illustrate the inner and outer conditions that really help us as mediums to get the best out of our mediumship, to get the best out of our connection to the other world. So yeah, they are listed in detail. Can I pick your brains? Can you tell Absolutely. me what those eight elements are? I can, yes. So the so the inner conditions and outer conditions. The example I always give is, you know, as a as a child, I would spend time sitting on my granddad's lawn. He got beautiful rose garden and I would sit spending time in his lawn looking at these roses. And what fascinated me is that they always started out looking the same. There was a really tight green, dark green bud. And yet when they flourished, they were all incredibly unique, very different in smell, very different in texture and size. And as a child, that fascinated me. And because I got a really curious nature, I would sometimes rip off the head of the, the rose bush, which my granddad was never pleased about. And I would sit on the lawn very, very gently unpicking the leaf. I'm sure you've probably done it yourself in some ways as a child. Most people do. And eventually what always happened is that the rose bud fell to pieces because you know I was trying to make it conform in a way that it was not able to conform, you know? So, you know, for the flower to open naturally, it needs, you know, inner and outer elements of the experience of growth to be present. You know, it needs water, it needs heat, it needs light, it needs all these different things. So mediumship in a similar way is filled with inner and outer conditions, elements that are really, if we get them right, really supportive of good growth. And if we don't, they can really stifle and limit the growth potential. So the inner conditions of mediumship are the medium's responsibility. And there are four of them. So we have the mind, the power, the connection and the breath. So that's our job as mediums to ensure that our mind is moved out sufficiently that it becomes the observer of the experience. The power we need to identify with it, become really absorbed by the power and sit within the power in a way that it can support you as the medium. It can support the spirit communicator and it will support the process of communication. So it upholds you. And by identifying with the power, that keeps the mind out. The connection part of it is really important because we need to be clear as mediums. Are we connecting to the spirit world and how do we know that? So we look at things like, you know, how do you respond to the presence of the spirit world? We look at in that part of the book specifically, what are the differences between making a psychic connection and a mediumship connection and how does that feel? And also we look at something which is quite interesting that, you know, it's very possible to read the memory of somebody's death from the auric field of the recipient. So it's very possible that we can read the memory of somebody's father's passing, for example, 
in the memory of the energy field. So we, we can get that information from the sitter, but that doesn't necessarily bring evidence from the spirit world. So, so the connection is really important that we learn to understand what it feels like and, and how it's going to show up. And of course, the breathing, which I've mentioned many times before, is really how we can utilize that within us as a means of moving the mind out, identifying with the power, and how by utilizing the breath in a way keeps the mind on the shelf, it stops it interfering, and that it supports the medium in the process. So those elements are our job as mediums to, um, to make sure that we get all those elements in harmony. Wow. And most of our listeners might be able to work out from this that I haven't yet read that book, simply because we are making this recording before its release. But as you listen to this, it is available. But how would you describe the format of the uh, book, Darren? Is it like story based or instructional? So it's kind of both, really. It's very reflective. And I think that's partly because the, the mediumship unfoldment is very reflective. You know, we don't just get everything in one hit. We need to revisit and reflect on things. So, so the book reflects that. It is autobiographical to start with, but it then goes on to explain some of my experiences, which have brought me to a greater understanding. So, you know, stories such as when I've been shocked, when I've demonstrated blindfold, when I've um, you know, when I found a missing child through my using my sensitivity. So there are things that are listed in that book that give you as the reader an understanding about how our awareness functions and why it functions in certain ways. And what formats you, have you done it in? Is it paperback? It'll be paperback only at the minute, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, an e-book for our international uh, listeners. Possibly, yeah, make. possibly. We'll see how it evolves, yeah. Okay, but even as a paperback, it's available across the world? It's available through my website. It's available through places like Amazon, through bookshop so it's, it is available anywhere that's fantastic that's what i was hoping to hear that wonderful word amazon that we can't <laughs> seem to live without these days well thank you very much for taking the time to share that with us today darren for this little short special i wish you all the success with it as do most of our listeners i am sure and i'd like to see them buying a copy for themselves where can our listeners find out more about your work Ideally through my website, that's probably the first place to try, which is darrenbritton.co.uk. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, Darren Britton, evidential medium, teacher and author of the book From Innocence to Innocence. My name is Trevor. Thank you and goodbye.